What is happening, y'all? Cowboy here, and welcome to my Lance build for Sunbreak. Now, Lance is a weapon that I think a lot of people just pass right over. It's kind of slow as it lumbers around. Its attacks aren't exactly flashy. You know, you have high pokes, you have mid pokes, and you do that three times, and then you hop. Uh, but Sunbreak has added quite a few nice things into the kit that have made it more dynamic. The first, and my personal favorite, the Shield Tackle. No more are the days of high thrusts into dodges. Now we can shield tackle something over and over. We can fit it at any point into our thrust combo. We can change direction with it. Fantastic move all around. But the fun doesn't stop there. We also have big shield yeet to the face, which causes a ton of KO damage. It will very, very frequently secure KOs for you all around a fantastic ability. But maybe you want something a little flashier? Boom! Big old anime stab finishes. And probably the best thing, Instablock has been buffed. Now, if you've never heard of Instablock, this was something we had back in GU with Adept Guard on Lance. And basically, it's crazy. The idea is if you time your block properly, you get a fat counterattack, which you can see there. And probably the biggest thing is you take no damage. No chip damage, no damage whatsoever. It is absolutely insane. Now, probably the one downside of it is you need to be in a neutral stance. And what I mean by this is if you are trying to guard from a poke, you're not going to be able to. Now, you can, like, you know, drop into guard like that, and you can do that with normal guard. You can still do that if you hit the right trigger MB. So if you're attacking, you can drop in and get a counter thrust out. But otherwise, you're going to need to be neutral to do insta block. Now, obviously, one of the other things you can do is if you're in the middle of attack patterns, you can just go boom and shield tackle right into the target. You don't even care that it's doing anything. Just keep, look, look at this. You can just literally just shield tackle all day until you get a stun. It's honestly absurd. I love shield tackle. So, taking a look at the build. Crit I6, attack boost 4, crit boost 3, wex 3, offensive guard 3, speed sharp 3, wire bug 3, agi 2, straight point of resentment on there, some razor sharp, some guard, guard up. Flinch free and diversion for multiplayer, bloodlust, and chain crit. So let's hop on into town, talk about the talisman, the lance, the gear, the decos, all that goodness. Now, the talisman this time, even though it's crazy because I'm on PC, this is probably one of the more accessible talismans to make a build like this. Because the only thing you'd really need here is going to be crit eye and a level 2 deco slot. 3 crit eye, level 2 deco, level 1 deco would probably be ideal. Uh, but as long as you have some crit eye, that's great and you're gonna need to have at least a level two slot on that. Whatever other skills you can fit in, it, that's all up to you. If it happens to have a uh, Vade Window, a Vade Extender, if it has Offensive Guard already, great. But the big thing here is gonna be Crit Eye and a level two slot. Talking about slots, first up we have the weapon itself, the Abyssal Icicle. Now this is the final boss lance, absolutely beautiful design on this thing, big, big fan of it. Comes with a whopping 350 wall, a ton of purple sharpness, and while it does have some negative affinity, it's not even going to matter because 350 and this much purple is like a Lance's wet dream. Now, as for the deco here, the anti-decos are always going to be the best choice. At the same time, we do have a level 3 slot, so if you want to run Deora Soul, this is going to give you 15% crit, it's going to help to cancel out the negative affinity on the weapon, it'll do slightly less damage than the antis, but... It's definitely a lot of like a, it's just a lazy comfort choice, you know? So uh, I have anti aquaticon because I basically plan on using the Lance to fight a crab this episode. Uh, but if you're fighting a bunch of things you don't want to switch, Dear Soul's a safe bet. Moving on down, the Kaiser Crown. You can have crit eye, crit boost, and then three level one slots. Now I've gone for speed sharp. You could go for a stun resist here and eat for speed sharp instead. You could drop the diversion embrace into there and eat for sharpen instead. It's really going to be whatever you want. Uh, the Arc Fiend Armor, of course, picking up Wex, Resentment, Chain Crit, Crit Boost. Bagel Goose, picking up two points of attack, two Agi, Guard, and Guard Up. Squire Belt, picking up two Offensive Guard, Wex, and Crit Boost. And then the Story Greaves, Bloodlust, some Razor Sharp, and two points of attack boost. Now we have a level three slot here and a level three slot here that have level two decos in, which is why I said you don't need to have a level three in the tally. You can move this Guardian Jewel up and then drop an attack down here, but you're gonna wanna have a level two because without that level two, you're not gonna be able to hit that four attack boost, crit boost three, wex three, which is kind of like the trifecta of starter DPS. And obviously you want offensive guards because we're playing Lance. Uh, now as for some alternatives here, uh, if you want, you could swap on over to the Lunagaran. 
Very similar stat wise, you'll get a guaranteed point of wire bug, which some folks may prefer for that 30% duration. If you wanna go a little bit safer, you're gonna be having to sacrifice one DPS skill here, uh, but going down to the Malzeno mail will allow you to pick up Blood Rite, which obviously with a weapon like Lance, where you're kind of just sitting and poking the face over and over, you're probably gonna get some decent healing out of Blood Rite. If you wanna go even harder on damage, you could of course pick up the Arc Fiend armor will pick you up an extra slot allowing you to take your crit eye up to seven but then you got to deal with dereliction and personally speaking unless i'm playing something fast like say dual blades or switch axe or something where i can you know move around real quick i'm not really too big a fan of dereliction so not going to be running it on lands talking about switch skills uh one two three and five are the same on each but looking here insta box the clear winner i have played guard lance pretty much forever I did a little bit of adept guarding back in GU, but you know, all through world, all through Iceborne, all through Rise, I did regular guard. With Insta Block being more viable now, it's hands down the winner. We don't need to worry about points of guard at all for this to go off. We do need to have that one point of guard up when we're getting that from the Bagel Goose braces. Uh, and with that, we can Insta Block anything. An Insta Block unblockables. You're still going to take damage from unblockables, uh, but you know, based on the level of your guard up. But once you get used to Instablock, it is the clear winner. No question about it. Uh, shield charge or dash attack, very much preference. I like the big shield bash that comes with this, so I use this. But dash attack is a solid one as well. As for shield tackle or guard dash, shield tackle, no question about it. Shield tackle is absolutely amazing. It weaves right into our thrust combo. We get guard while we're doing it. We get stun while we're doing it. It is phenomenal. I love shield tackle. If there's one thing Lance carries forward with the franchise, please let it be shield tackle. Skyward thrust, anchor rage, or spiral thrust. This is honestly gonna be up to you. Uh, I like anchor rage on one set. I have either skyward or spiral on the second set, depending on what I'd be going up against. Something that's on the ground like a Rajang, I wouldn't use skyward on, but something that's up in the sky or has a big hitbox, like say Ibushi or Rathalos, skyward's gonna do some serious damage. Lastly, twin vine. Uh, sheathing retreat i'm just i'm not a big fan of this i have tried using it honestly i don't feel like it it retreats you far enough even when i do use this it feels like it just barely moves me away from the monster i'd rather just run twin vine uh, lets me stay on the monster easily it gives me two points of guard if i have to do like a hard block as opposed to an insta block so it's just a solid choice all around uh so let me grab some items we are heading on out on the hunt Gonna be hunting a monster that is probably one of my worst things to fight. But everyone told me they're like, oh, you're going after him? Use the lance. So we'll see how it goes. I'm not even hunting the anomaly version because I'm terrible against this thing. This is this is literally this is my weakness when it comes to monsters. Shogun Senator. I just I cannot I cannot beat this guy. Like, I mean I can beat him, clearly. I beat him, but out of all the monsters in the game, this is probably the one that I think I struggle the most with, but I've had some people tell me that uh, Lance makes pretty short work of him, so I'm curious. We're going to find out together. Swap that. I want to go grab the lightning bug, but this is no, it's not worth it. Sweet. This actually goes well. This will be my new my new default crab killing setup. I think my thing with him is he has like his attacks are like ever so slightly delayed. So like I really struggle on getting certain counters off. Bro, like right there, I thought I had my anchor rage on. He said, no, you did not. I get 
rid of this bleed debuff. Actually, I think the easiest hunt I've ever had of the crab. Tell that happened. This, all right, I kind of feel bad. I'll be honest. I did not expect it to go like this. Little did you know, this is Cowboy's uh, first speed run happening in real time. Oh, okay, never mind. I gotta not talk shit. Every time I talk shit, that's what happens. No! Oh my god! Dead. Okay. I need to, uh... Yeah, that is good, because I need to sharpen. Jeez. Yeah, this this is insane. I am... Anytime, anytime I need to fight this guy from now on, this is what I'm doing. This is amazing. Put this inside of you. God, dude. This is quite possibly the cleanest hunt I think I've ever had. Let's go. Oh, it was a smaller size. Okay. Well, 
I'm not gonna let that dissuade me from how good a hunt that was. That was a very, very clean kill on a monster that I have particularly struggled with for quite a while. That felt good. Ooh, man. That was honestly wild. Like, I was, I was debating what I wanted to go up against with the lance, and I'm like, you know what? I'm like on top of this thing's face. Let me just do it. And oh, man, that was just brutal. Look, my DPS meter, 638. Not a, that's a fun little little mod. It adds a, I'm gonna change the font though. Um, another thing that's great about PC, we can see our DPS, our kill time, see part breaks. Anyway, wrapping things up here. Lance build, big damage. Um, up next though, so we got two more on deck before we have covered every weapon and then we start branching out and just doing some fun stuff. Um, the light bow gun build is done. The heavy bow gun build, I have two on deck, but I'm not sure which I want to go with. Uh, so I will figure that out, but rest assured the bow guns are coming and I'll catch y'all soon with those.